there's been a lot of talk around this that you go to a technical conference and it's great because you walk in and there's like 10 stalls and you're like, hmm, which stall shall I pick, right? <laughs> and it's actually quite lonely in the bathrooms. <laughs> so if for no other reason, you know, I'd like to have more women there so that we can have some bathroom banter, right? Uh, and, and I think it's kind of indicative that you know, if, if we have no lines and we have lines everywhere else, then something isn't going on, right? So I want to hopefully in this talk encourage you all, if nothing else, to maybe do one talk this year. And it doesn't have to be something glamorous, right? You don't have to get up and do a keynote at Google I.O. or, um, you know, it, it, can be, it can be something simple. And it can even just be a presentation at work, right? But I hope that you'll at least set the goal of I'm going to do one talk either one-on-one -on -one or with a small group or with a larger setting, whatever you feel comfortable with, but eventually have the goal of, you know, waiting in line with me for one of those 10 stalls. So, a lot of times when I say this, though, immediately the reaction is, well, who cares about what I have to say? Why would anybody want to hear what I have to say? I just graduated from a boot camp, or I've only been coding for two years, or I've only been coding for five years, or I've only been coding for 20 or 30 or 40 years, right? And I hear the same thing over and over again. And, you know, the truth is that people actually want to hear what you have to say. They want to know what your unique experiences are in solving a problem or even as you've grown through your career and they want to get that perspective, right? And the reason is because there's always somebody who's less experienced than you are, whether you realize it or not, right? You might be, uh, you might have been coding in Java for only five months, there's probably somebody who hasn't written a single line of Java code or, you know, same thing, Ruby on Rails. Pick your language, pick your framework, always somebody who's just getting started or, you know, just a little bit behind you or even wants to learn a new technique, right? If you had some unique way of um, you know, building or solving a problem, they want to hear that. So don't feel like, oh, who's going to want to hear me speak, right? Instead think, hey, I had this experience, and I don't know if other people might have had it or not. Chances are that they haven't, and therefore, I'd like to share that. Now, this is my favorite kind of networking. <laughs> uh, I don't particularly enjoy going to conferences and hanging out in the hallways and finding people. I end up running into a bunch of schmucks. Uh, and so what I prefer to do is I prefer to actually be you know, one of the people that's speaking. Because then people come up to me at the end or before or whatever, and the conversation I have is more elevated. And usually they're interested in the same things I'm interested in, or they might be even potentially recruiting. Um, but it gives me a better sense of you know, who it is I want to meet, right? So if nothing else, if you're one of those folks that kind of doesn't like the small talk or meeting random strangers, being up there either in a stage or in a classroom, whatever the setting is, gives you that opportunity to have that filter and meet the people that are ultimately interested in connecting with you. The other, of course, is that it, despite what people think, actually opens up a lot of opportunities, right? I can't think of a single time where I have spoken and somebody hasn't come up to me afterwards and said, hey, that was great, here's my card, we'd love to like have you consult or come in and speak or hire you or whatever, right? Um, so there's never a time that has gone by where I don't get some kind of opportunity. The other is, of course, like I said, being able to even make friends, right? Having kind of more of a personal connection with the people that are coming out to see you speak because they come up to you afterwards and you know, ask you more questions. So think of it as a networking, but also a way to open up a lot of doors, especially for some of you out there who are like, well, I just started coding and I'm not sure. That's OK. You know, There's been a lot of great speakers who said, I've only been coding for five or six months. This is what I built. This was my approach. People want to learn that kind of stuff. People want to hire those people, too, because they're confident. They're able to communicate clearly.